Another fact that I want to point out to my Christian brothers and sisters, we as Gentiles and nations have been grafted to the uh, Jewish roots. Uh, that doesn't mean we have to go back, you know, to be Jewish, but uh, that means that we need to observe parts of the Torah. And when I say observe, it's only those parts which don't, uh, are not explicitly related to our salvation, you know. For example, we don't need to make sacrifices because we, the sacrifices have been made for us to be, you know, to have the atonement. And, uh, uh, for example, we have uh, the fall feast here. The fall feast, like the Jewish people, they are celebrating fall feast, like Yom Kippur. Should we, sh should, should we as Christians uh, celebrate Yom Kippur? I think yes. It's a day of atonement. And uh, we should uh, celebrate all the things that God has made when he forgave the sons of Israel we gave the sons of Israel no after uh, when we when they were before they were escaping Egypt you know they put uh, they uh, God basically instructed Moses to uh, to put uh, you know blood in their doorposts for the sons of Israel to be saved and sons of Egypt you know uh, there would be a disaster for them because why because you know uh, god is a god of abraham isaac and jacob and wh whoever believes in him uh, he will have salvation and that's an atonement that's a story of atonement it's a true story from the bible and then we have atonement of sins of course when moses uh, was instructed by god to build the tabernacle you know with the help of many many wise-hearted uh, God gave the spirit of uh, wisdom to Oholia, Bazalael, and many others from the Bnei Israel to to make all the things of so the tabernacle, the tables, the altar, and the offerings, and the, uh, the altar of the incense, the altar of the burnt offering, and everything else, you know. All these things. Uh, one of the purposes was uh, to to make atonement, you know, for for their sins. Because if God wanted to, if God had to be part of Israel, you know, and live in the middle of Israel in a house built by by man, uh, and I know that God cannot live in a house uh, built by man, but God loves so much, He loves so much His children. And of course, the whole world, uh, he loves them so much that he wants to, to build a house inside us. Of course, now we, the Holy Spirit has, is living inside our temples, no? But at that time, God, God's, uh, God's way to make atonement of their sins was to build a tabernacle and uh, so altars, and they'd make... Uh, and uh, Aaron, Moses' brother and his sons, you know, they were appointed by God to make this atonement. And basically they would take uh, the sons of Israel's sins on their own, on their, yeah, to, 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 uh, to remove them. So they would, uh, they would take their sins because they were kind of mediators, the priests. And... Uh, uh, God appointed the priests Aaron and his sons to be forever uh, for uh, in the service of uh, uh, of as Kohen as God's priests, you know. And that was an atonement, another atonement, and the last atonement, which uh, relates to the last uh, uh, covenant that uh, we have experienced, the world has experienced, is the covenant and the atonement by Yeshua Messiah. So God had to come here by himself to make an atonement, you know? Uh, it's like an a everlasting atonement, like uh, it's not a temporary atonement, it's an everlasting atonement. 
and it lasts forever and ever, you know, because God himself is perfect. And with his blood, we have uh, atonement of our sins. We have forgiveness, basically, of our sins. And our guilt is no more. But th what does that mean? Does it mean that we should uh, be passive and sleep? No. It means that we should uh, do so something about it. Sh we should reflect his light. We should uh, reflect his glory. You know, and reflecting his glory also means, you know, action, action, action. Because uh, the Jewish, uh, uh, the Jewish language, for example, is an action uh, language. Like we see the verbs, ver the verbs take place in the beginning of the of the sentence in the Jewish uh, language. Right? So it's an action language. Um, so we should be active. You know, and another thing we should be active is following his commandments. If we're talking about Shabbat and we're talking about Yom Kippur and as other festivals, not from the oral law, but from the Tanakh and from the New Testament, from the, you know, Yeshua's covenant. Because I don't want to uh, call it New Testament. I want to call it Yeshua's covenant, you know, because Yeshua will come back. Yeshua will come back again and he will take his own elect, you know, and they will, uh, they will live forever and ever in his glory. But guys, I think that, uh, you know, this is not a salvation issue, not, not a, uh, it's not a salvation issue, just re uh, respecting his command, I mean, uh, uh, celebrating Shabbat or Yom Kippur, it has nothing to do with salvation, but we will miss a lot of uh, blessings, you know, because if God says that uh, you should, you remember the Sabbath day, you know, to keep it holy, then this is a commandment. I don't know, is it as heavy as the other commandments, but it is still a commandment. I don't think it's as heavy as loving your neighbor, of course it's not. But it's still a commandment, you know, and you miss a lot of blessings by missing this, uh, by not keeping this, uh, this commandment of keeping the Shabbat or keeping Yom Kippur. Because when you keep Shabbat, when you keep Yom Kippur, in a way you are, uh, you're celebrating what God said, what God did, you know, with his, with his people. And God wants his glory to be uh, you know, uh, reflected all over the world. This is one of God's attributes. He wants His glory to be known. He wants to be known everywhere in the world. So when you go and uh, celebrate His festivals, His uh, the Feast of Tabernacles, for example, you know, I think it's a blessing for you also. Yeah. Well, uh, I don't know what to say else, but uh, I hope this uh, video encourages you to, to keep God's commandments. Keep first uh, the major commandments. Love your neighbor, love your... Take care of the widows, orphans. Love your family. Uh, take care of your parents, you know. Don't, don't uh, send your parents in the, in the... What's that called, you know, where the old people live. I know in America, I have a friend of mine, you know, he, he left uh, on a mission somewhere else and uh, he left his, his mom in a, what's it called, when old people say, stay, they live somewhere. Here in my country, old people live with their own family, you know, and their, their sons take care, basically, of their essential needs, you know. Well, it's a, it's a hard work, to be honest, to take care of your elders, especially when they get on their 70s, over their 70s, it's a hard job. But I mean, if you, if you, leave, if you leave them behind and you go somewhere else to... I think it's kind of... it's a nonsense, you know, it's kind of hypocrisy. Because if you're not taking care of your own, how can you take care of other people throughout the world? You go for a mission or a ministry or something. Anyways, 
that's it for the day guys please subscribe leave your comments and uh, god bless you till the next time